Okay. We got, are you still good with the, you know, want to get the, um, what you call it on? Slideshow? Awesome. Okay, cool. All right. That needs to go off. Where's the dog? Willow. So in between the design excellence and the business workshop, I have to walk the dog. <laughs> And possibly make lunch. <laughs> so we have it. Well, newsletter, I'm just going to pull that thing up a little bit. Right? Hello. Welcome, everybody. I see him jumping on. We'll give everybody a few minutes to get on. Welcome. Let's see. We still have another minute or two before 11. So thank you for joining us. While you're waiting, um, you know, if you want to get your social ready, just in case you are a finalist, uh, we'd love to have you post it. And all of our social information is up on the screen for you to share. Oops, I'm jumping ahead. Welcome everybody. Well, I have 11 o'clock on the dot. So I wanna get started and first just say thank you to everyone who joined us and who submitted products for the 2021 Design Excellence Awards. The Design Excellence Awards were created three years ago for a couple of reasons. One is that we really wanted to be able to highlight and celebrate your hard work, your designs, your products. Uh, as an organization, we were really good at recognizing people and brands and companies, but not necessarily the, the you know, creations that everyone has taken so much time to make. And this year, we got more entries than we ever have before. And it was a wow. It was so hard to vote. And um, I thank our board who spent a lot of time going through every single submission and um, you know voting for the finalists. So they put a lot of time and energy into that. So we, we thank them um, and we thank you for entering. I um, want to just before we get started, tell you about ways that people have used this award to help their business. And at the end of the day, the Design Excellence Awards are positioned right at this time of year because we know we're going into our busy shopping season. The, the winners are announced in September. Uh, all of the products needed to be ready to sell starting at the end of September into October because we know that it's a great time for holiday gifting. And um, so you're gonna get a, if you're a finalist, you're gonna get a seal that says you're a finalist. You're gonna wanna use that um, because for the time at, right after the announcements until the 2nd of September, Anybody can vote, your fan base can vote, your family can vote, your mom can vote. Um, the more votes you get, the more likely it, you are to win. So we know from past, those people who really got their teams involved and really used it as a celebration, um, you know, had some, had some great results. We had, we had one category that was down to like one vote between the winner and the runner up. So it's really exciting and it's a fun way to, um, share all of your hard work with 
uh, with your fan base and your team. So before I get started, um, I also want to just mention that our business workshop starts at noon today. Today, we have an amazing presentation by Marshall Cohen and the team from NPD. This is a gift. The information, the insights that they share are um, valuable tools that you can use to help craft your business, to make decisions, um, things that you can use in the immediate and the now. And it's not information that's readily out there. So uh, thank you to the NPD team for taking the time to share, but this is a complimentary session. So if you haven't signed up yet, you can go on our website, accessoriescouncil.org and sign up um, and watch the, the MPD session, which starts at noon. That's followed by a session on NFTs and how that works in the fashion world. Um, also super uh, interesting new way to, you know, make money and to uh, capture your, your IP. And also then we have a fun interview with Randy Zuckerberg by one of our board members, Jay Lacani. Um, you know, learning what's happening in tech and in women in business and um, some of the things Randy is working on are super exciting. And um, we're, we are looking forward to sharing that with everyone this afternoon. So um, you'll be able to log on. I wanna thank a few sponsors, uh, Black Glama in September when we announce our finalists, we will also announce our Black Glama Award. And wow, those creations were amazing. Um, can't wait to share the winners with you. Jor, we're gonna come back and talk about Jor. Jor has been an amazing partner to, the Design Ex or to our Design Excellence Awards and they are going to be hosting the voting. So if you don't know Jor, Jor is the leading wholesale management site. Um, they have over 12,500 brands and wow, 325,000 retailers all over the world. So our finalists will be on Jor. Um, we're gonna come back at the end and tell you how to vote. So if you're a finalist, stay tuned till we're done. Um, so we can talk about a little bit more about what's going to happen on Jor. To Marshawn, Marshawn created the beautiful trophies that our winners will receive. Um, and we're delighted to have them as a sponsor again this year. And then to QVC and HSN, the Curate Retail Group, who have again come back to sponsor the event. We've seen a trophy or two on QVC and HSN. So um, you know, it's just a fun example of ways and interesting ways to sell your products. And of course, um, we'll be introducing our finalists and our winners to the team at uh, QVC and HSM. So I get to now start. Um, you got it alphabetically today as far as our categories. And again, thank you to everyone who entered um, I think you're going to see a lot of different brands um, in the mix, and um, here we go. Our first finalist uh, in category, optical eyewear. Burberry, the BE2332. Ray-Ban, the Ray-Ban State Street Glass. Selen Olmstead, Studio for Rain. The Malin. Silhouette, the Silhouette Identity. And Ted Baker, Ted Baker Bioclassics. Congratulations to all of our optical finalists. Hang with us and we'll talk about how to vote at the end. I wear sunglasses. Bighorn. Sea Life. Lanvin, Prada, and State Optical Company. Congratulations to our son. Next category, fashion jewelry. Brent Lauren, the bead breast bracelet. Bitten Ink, the Glam Stack. 
Deepa Gurnani, popcorn earrings. Faranaz, New York, ostrich handmade earrings. And Frida Rothman, the strength bracelet. Fine jewelry. Alex Wu, custom little icons, triple. Brady Legler, the pearl ring. Dara DeConing, the green navy bracelet. Philanthropy is Beautiful Jewelry by Joan Hornig. And Stephen Dweck, the luxury ring with green tourmaline and diamonds. Footwear, footwear over 250. Altair, the white boot with Oakley strap. Lori Silverman, high top sneaker. Mia Bacar, the Maryland mule. Veronica Beard, hiking boot. And Vince, the Femi boot. Footwear under 250. Dr. Scholes, their Echo Friendly Hunter. Franco Sardo, the Echo Tall Boot. Modernist, Sleeker. Passion Footwear, the Convertible Heel. And Sardo, Lug Loafer. Handbags over a thousand. Etois. The Alessa Large Boa Tote with insert. Georgina, gold mesh purse. Catherine Radiant, the bucket bag. Kimberly Pucci, signature 21. Melly and Marie, Joanna Cage bag. Handbags under a thousand. Anita Bellardi, the Picasso bag. Kalista, maxi pleated clutch. Lovard, the lady tote. Pop Bag USA, classic tote bag bundle. And Sharon Wilkes, the Natalie patchwork crossbody bag. Personal accessories. Alexis Stone, the Jackie Lux pocket belt. Echo New York, the Menagerie 35 inch silk square. Kelly Wynn, round trip toiletry case. Carrie Rosenthal, the hug shrug. And the Sony, the scarf glass combo. For social impact. Akoa, the Unlock It bracelet. Elliot Young, fine jewelry. Catherine Parr jewelry, Diversity Rocks. Pals, the Milk and Cookie series by Crowded Teeth. And Vildeskin, the Sarai Chuckaboot. And sustainability. Agsum Fashion Fern. KBH Jewels, the Wavering. Monica Rich Kozan, the Vintage Diamond Locket Collection. The Ocean Cleanup, Ocean Cleanup Sunglasses. And Vera Bradley, cotton reimagined recycled cotton tote bag. And our last category, tech and innovation, sponsored by Jor, who we're going to talk about in the voting in just a moment. Cody Vision, the necklace reading glass. Impulse, Impulse Zero Coral. 
periphery, the smart earring. The number two eyewear and Zeiss UV clean. So congratulations to all of our finalists. Here's what we do next. Uh, we will be emailing you our seal, which we'll be able to share with you your, uh, your finalist seal. And then you'll also get a link to vote on JOR. As I mentioned, JOR Wholesale Marketplace, they have hundreds of thousands of retailers that are on the site in 144 countries all over the world. So their audience will be able to vote for you. So what great exposure to all new potential customers um, for, for, for our finalist brands. But you're gonna get a link to direct people to come and vote for your product. So um, hopefully you'll be able to share that with your fans, your employees, and uh, we're gonna spend the next couple of weeks voting for the winners. And we will be announcing the winners on September 8th at noon. <laughs> Had to go, had to look to Emily for that confirmation. <laughs> At any rate, thank you all so very much and congratulations to our finalists and congratulations to everyone who entered. There was just amazing product and it was an honor to get to um, review everything and see what you've been up to. Uh, and hopefully we'll see your names pop up at our business workshop in 45 minutes. Thank you. Take care.